I'm actually not tired of being told wear your mask. You can't say it enough, Dr. John LaPook. Thank you, too. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo faces a new threat to his job, an impeachment investigation led by fellow Democrats. It will look at claims of sexual misconduct by Governor Cuomo and allegations that his administration withheld information on COVID-19 deaths in nursing homes. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, is following this story and joins us now to discuss. Jerika, the governor insists he's not going anywhere, but this is certainly a steady drumbeat of bad news for him. Good morning. It, absolute, it absolutely is, Gail. So far in total, more than 120 lawmakers are calling for the governor to resign, with 60 of them signing a press release yesterday saying, quote, the confidence, he has lost the confidence of the public and the state legislature. Now, earlier this week, a six-woman alleged sexual misconduct by the governor. The Albany Times Union reports a person with direct knowledge told the newspaper that Cuomo aggressively groped a female aide late last year while she was alone with him in his private residence where she had been called into work. The governor's acting counsel said a lawyer for the aide said she did not want to file a police report. But the governor's office still had to report the allegation to police as required by state policy. But yes, Yesterday, the New York Times reported that police said the incident may have risen to the level of a crime, although they had not opened an investigation. In response to the allegation, Governor Cuomo said, I have never done anything like this. The details of the report are gut-wrenching. Now, the National Organization of Women, which supported the governor in 2018, is also calling for him to resign and really standing by the accusers. And, of course, the governor is under investigation by the New York State Attorney General's office. Investigators for that office launched a new website yesterday where anyone